Suresh, Suresh, we had some uh, data at World Lung um, kind of looking at this oligometastatic uh, group of patients, and uh, there was a phase two study using pembrolizumab along with local ablative therapy. Your, your thoughts, could you t tell us about that? So I think uh, it's a nice follow-on on the study which Dr. Gomez published in the um, Lancet Oncology about uh, two years ago, showing that when you give local ablative therapy in a randomized fashion, you actually prolong the progression-free survival significantly, about three times uh, as much. And um, the IDMC closed that study down. And yesterday at the ASTRO meeting, Dr. Gomez presented apparently an overall survival benefit for that. So I think there's something to it. So what this uh, Baumol study did at the World Congress is they looked to see whether get administering IO, in this case Pembro, after locally ablative therapy could be feasible. And they tried to see whether you could extend the PFS from about 6.6 .6 months to about 11 months. So they showed a fairly impressive uh, PFS of uh, I think 19 months. But I think there's some caveats. Firstly, um, about 60% of the patients had uh, oligorecurrences, which meant that they had metachronous oligometastases. Whereas in the Gomez trial, about 90, 92% had uh, synchronous metastases, which we're thinking about. So you pick out a subgroup, which tends to do very well. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I think 60% had just one metastases, and another 30% had two. So if you take these groups, metachronous, one to two sites, you tend to do well. And today at the um, ASTRO meeting, there'll be results of the randomized COMET trial in um, the oligo recurrences being presented, showing that giving stereotactic radiotherapy to standard of care results in a PFS of six months and an OS of about 13 months, it's randomized evidence. So, I think to me the message is it shows that PEMBRO after local ablative therapy is feasible. We really need randomized evidence in adequately powered trials and we should be looking at now the patients with synchronous metastases, perhaps up to four as what was done at the Gomez trial and this trial. So I think there's, there's room there for good uh, prospective trials. So I see that as indicator that it's feasible not much more than yeah. that. What, what, what do you think is going on there from a mechanism point of view? You think? Um, I think it's one plus one is two. I, I'm not sure there's anything <laughs> about the uh, epscopal effect or stimulating okay. the radiation. Yeah. And we I, hear a lot about the epscopal effect. We don't see it very often. We like to think it works, yeah. but I think at this point in time, we should just give the radiotherapy locally ablative doses that we want to give to get the sustained control. Again, the uh, COMET trial shows that we only have about 70% local control rates at these sites we give SABRE to. It's not 100%, it's not mm -hmm. 90%. So if a patient is referred to me in this context, I would give an optimal Sabre dose that's safe and uh, leave it to the uh, systemic therapy to continue. Not hope for epscopal effect unless it can be reproduced in a significant proportion of patients with a treatment regimen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, we all agree. Yeah, I, th I think the critical thing, is a lot of these trials are very carefully selected patients, so they're somewhat hard to interpret. Right. And, uh, yeah, I, 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 I agree.